All right. Uh, I took the, if you see here, uh, this is my Odroid X2. Um, I took the, I unplugged the, um, the, the power cable to the, uh, to the fan. It's, it's powered through USB. It powers the fan. You can see it's, um, it's, it's attached there, uh, to the fan. I unplugged that at, um, what time was it? Unplugged it, um, at about, uh, 7.07 p.m., and this thing has been running for well over 10 minutes without a cooling fan. You can see that the fan is not moving, okay? Now I got this. It's, uh, what brand is this? Oh, I forgot. But, um, it's pretty good. It's an infrared uh, thermometer. Takes both metric and Fahrenheit. It ranges from uh, negative 50 Celsius to 550 Celsius. Uh, measures from negative 58 Fahrenheit to 1022 Fahrenheit. Uh, it's even got a laser pointer. If you uh, and here you can convert between Celsius and Fahrenheit. You can have the backlighting on, or you can have the laser on. So uh, we're going to activate it by. Uh, pulling the trigger and you can activate the laser um, you can turn the uh, laser off or on I got the laser on and you see it points a laser beam that's how you know what you're pointing at uh, the ceiling here uh, apparently that reads 69 degrees Fahrenheit uh, refrigerator 65 there for an example, um, my belly, laser pointer, and apparently that's 77. Well, anyway, <clears throat> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, do the Odroid. Keep in mind, it's been running for well over 10 minutes without a cooling fan. It's almost 19 minutes without a cooling fan. Uh, almost, It's getting close to 20 minutes without a cooling fan. You're going to measure the temperature of the heat sink. Okay, we're finally up to about 87 degrees almost. Turn that laser off. Now we're going to do as close as we can for an accurate reading. Because if you just point it at the O-Droid, let's get the laser. Well, it still reads fairly good. Let's shoot it up into the air and just so it, see there's a difference. Now we're going to point it at the O-Droid. So I guess it is doing pretty good there. But we're going to get it really close. And we got 86 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to get it really close to that CPU or that the heat sink so I can get a really good reading. There, uh, 86 degrees. 85, 86. And um, so it still has not got up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, even though it's been, let's see, um, even though it's been just about 20 minutes without a heat sink. This is the uh, Odroid X2 that I bought last year from Hard Kernel. Now, just for a perspective, um, this, this USB... Um, uh, wireless in adapter get a temperature on that and it's over 90 degrees so the so uh, like uh, a Wi-Fi adapter actually gets hotter than the you know the heat sink and all that if you're curious about this it's just a bunch of Linux operating systems for the Odroid uh, now I got a um, external USB hard drive the um, the temperature on it Reads 81, 77 on the side, USB hub, USB 2.0 hub, All right, 86 there, or it's around 90 some odd degrees. Uh, and LEDs, although they run cooler than, than incandescents, check out this LED light I got in the bathroom. 
it's like 0 0.9 watts it's not even a full watt and look at that temperature I mean triple digits right there so the Odroid um, just really does not put out a lot of heat and for another perspective look at my wireless uh, broadband router it's a dual band um, 750 it's a Belkin and uh, yeah so the upper 80s and all that uh, on the temperature of that um so this odroid really doesn't use a whole lot of power let's go again i've been recording for over five minutes so it's been it's been over um gosh has it been almost now it's been almost when did I start? Okay, it's been a good 20 minutes now because it's been 7.07 is when I, um, 7.07 p.m. is when I unplug the, uh, the cooling fan. And, uh, finally up to 88 degrees. I mean, it just, it takes that long. Now, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not throttled up very high. I mean, it's pretty much running idle, but the point is with these, and this is the same type of system board that you, you could expect to find in a tablet, same processor. Matter of fact, the CPU technology is the same as what's in the uh, NVIDIA Tegra, uh, NVIDIA Tegra 3 that's in like the 2012 Nexus 7. And uh, that sort of thing. I mean, this, you know, the CPU inside this, well, it's got four processor cores, but it's the ARM Cortex A9 uh, microprocessor that's used in the Apple iPad. Um, you know, it's used in various other tablets and stuff like that. Now, things just recently, like in 2013 or whatever, started switching over to ARM Cortex A15. Um, you know, uh, that's what I got in my tablet. But anyway, the point is, this Odroid is not going to run up your electric bill. Uh, the power supply for it is only like, what, 10 watts. It's uh, 5 volts at 2 amps. And uh, so you see, even while running for a full 20 minutes without cooling, without a, without a, a fan uh, running, you know, you see it's still just a little bit below 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the heat sink and um, you know there's no cooling fan so listen you can run this little thing completely silent you can record audio with it you know now I mean I don't know how well it would do high definition video but it should do audio just fine recording audio so if you need to record some audio in like a studio or whatever uh, and you need to have silence you know this thing's right here. I mean, this thing is the thing you'll want to use and all that. I mean, it's just no fans. You know, you can plug up USB flash drive there for storage. And you don't have the sound of a hard drive clicking. Now, I'm just going to let you hear the fan. And, like, I'm finally going to plug up this, uh, this uh, USB uh, cooling fan. I may have to hold the tablet here a certain way. onto the Odroid so I can plug in this thing. Here we go. Now finally, you see that the cooling fan is finally running. This is just a 40 millimeter fan. Plugs in through USB, but listen how quiet it is. I mean, that's with the tablet pretty close. I mean, far away, you know. Oh, I almost knocked something over. I mean, look, we're at least six feet away. How well can you hear it? Not not very loud, right? And we're going to test the temperature now that we've had the cooling fan on for a few seconds.
It's already brought it down a few degrees and it's been on for like probably no more than a minute. And so yeah, I mean this this O-Droid will never overheat even if you overclock it. As long as you got just a little cooling fan on there, you know. I mean I just leave it at factory clock settings which is 1.6. I mean they say 1.7 on the specs. Like on the website. But, um, where is, where is the, um, oh, the, the CP frequency, oh, I better know how to get it up, Conky, run, we're gonna run Conky, come on, close one of these terminals, alright, we're gonna run Conky, K-O-N, C O N C O N K Y. Hope I got it installed. Yeah, I do. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, I got Conky installed. This is what it does. Uptime's been three hours. It's been almost four hours. And it says frequency in megahertz. See, it's 1.6 gigahertz and all that. Conky's pretty cool. So although the website says 1.7 gigahertz, it's actually reporting in here at um, you know, 1.6. And then although this thing had been running, this Odroid had been running for over three hours. Whenever I started recording this video and reporting the temperature, and uh, get on the heatsink there, you see it's already cooling down to 74. Turn that laser on just so you can see where it's pointing. Um, alright, you see where it's pointed there? Alright, you see where the laser's pointed? Yeah, that's reading about 75 Fahrenheit. And so, yeah, it cooled down by like maybe 8 degrees just in a few minutes. And even though it's been running for over 3 hours. So, yeah, this is, uh, pretty cool, you know, the Odroid X2. Now, it's been, uh, replaced by the um we'll just kill that with the terminal it's so easy it's like p i d o f we know uh conky is running c o n k y pit of conky okay um oh i spelled it wrong p i d o f c o n k y all right Process ID for Conky is uh, 3605. That's the process ID. So we just type in kill, K I L L, uh, 3605. We're going to move this here so we can watch it happen. Watch what happens. You see, Conky is running right over here. And I'm going to type in kill 3605, which we're going to kill that process. Watch what happens. Hit enter. Oops. No, hit enter. And it killed the program. So uh, now we exit the terminal by typing nice exit. There we go. It's so easy. Linux. This is, I'm using Fedora 18, which is about a year old or whatever now. And it's using XFCE for its graphical interface. And it's just, you know, your programs are managed according to category. You got development, you know, this is like your programming and all that. Games, you got your games in here. Graphics software. Internet software. I mean, it's much more organized than Windows. It's just, I like it a lot. So anyway, this has been my video of the uh, Odroid X2, and I hope you enjoyed it.